So today we have a little microorganism here that's trying to reach the top of the food chain. He's gonna fight a lot of guys on the way there though, so let's get this fight started. As it goes on, each of us are gonna be sending out these little attacks to each other, and then we can thankfully dodge the ones that come in while also damaging their bits, but we also have an ability that we can activate to send out lots of damage. We just have to be careful about where the parts actually hit though, because we need to protect the cortex while taking out theirs. And thankfully the cell walls here are good at defense. And we can also target things specifically to hopefully take out the cortex faster. Although it's only so-so if it actually makes it there. But thankfully we took out all of their attack bits. And then we can take out their last cell before they take out the one in the back. That was a lot of damage there. But we got some vials that we can use for upgrades. We just bring them into the upgrade screen here and we just open them all up. So we have, ooh, some really good stuff stem cells here so we'll take one of you and then i like you because you have a lot of health and then let's just open up the rest of these vials and see what we get we have some spears here that do better damage and a compound eye we'll take the spear and then a defense vial Ooh, passive defense that could be good for the cell that's about to go we'll take one of these and then an electric vial here i like the sound of this oh especially for electric attacks that chain so now let's decorate our little guy we can put this cell right here to better protect the cortex and then over here do the same thing we're a little exposed from the back but i think that'll be okay and then the electro bit here can go on that wall and then the spear down here and then we can also add some passive defense to protect it better and then as we explore the map we can find better things to go to like here's another cell vial and also physical. That could be good. And there's a geneticist right after that. So let's go here. We should be a lot better in this fight. Oh, we're finding like a lily pad. A leafy. So let's get the battle going. And then let the autonomous attacks go out way sooner. Yes, two damage to everything. That should be like guaranteed damage for a lot of these things. And we'll also dodge the initial bout of damage. And send out the antler attacks. Oh yes, and that passive protection is defending this cell very nicely. And okay, we did lose that one in the back. But that's kind of expected. They're already losing way more, so let's target the Cortex already. And the Zappies are working too. And the Spears piercing through the walls is so good as well. I love guaranteed damage. Oh, and that Spear is critting for four damage. Please hit the Cortex. Yes, it's hitting the Cortex. Beautiful. That's so much damage. And all that's left is the Cortex. Oh no, that hit got knocked away. But it doesn't matter. We win, and we get two more vials. I love it. Especially because one of them is cells, so we can replace the one that just went kaput. And we'll take the high health one and the one with a wall on it, and then see what's in this physical one. We got some more beaks, like the one we have. And the beaks launch two projectiles, so I like the sound of that. So we'll take those and then put this one right here, and then this wall one probably here to protect that cell better. I like that. And then the beak will go on the main thing here. Might as well. Two mouths. It's a little weird, but not as weird as it can be. So let's keep going. Over to the geneticist? Sure. We'll see what you have. What can you do for us, fellow weirdness? So we can get new cells or new mutations? I think we have plenty of room here for mutations, so we'll take one of these. And then hopefully get good things out of it. We have eyeballs, which increases chance to target cells. I do like the sound of that. And that has better explore chance, but this increases critical chance. I like that even better. So I'll put you here, just kind of somewhere you're protected. And now we can explore some more. The cell smith sounds like a good option. I'm not sure we're ready for an elite fight. So let's go here. Hello, cell smith. Ooh, we can add walls to a cell. I like that. We can put that on the eyeball here. So that entire backside, almost the entire backside is protected better. That'll be good. Explore some more. Oh, I wish we knew where that chest was. Hopefully there's another one, but let's go down here for this unknown encounter. And we have better access to healers. Hey, it's the geneticist again. Let's get another mutation vial here because I like mutations. Oh, another spear. That's even better. We'll take one of you, especially because you're doing more damage and strap you here. Yeah, we'll put you on the eyeball and then explore some more. I would like to see another treasure chest come up, but I'm not sure we'll get that. Let's take frost. I'm not sure about that. Let's go up here to this unknown encounter. It's another fight. Okay. Oh, a zappy boy. Favorite book, the book lung. Look it up. I'm not sure I want to if you're telling me that, but let's start the battle so we can get rid of this abomination. And the cortex is already incredibly exposed. So if we target with the antler early, then it should hopefully reach and do lots of damage. And a lot of them are reaching. Wow, that entire backside is already gone. This is going to be a very quick fight. And sure enough, it was. 
That was amazing. Oh, it's a frost vial. We might as well see what it has. And we have extra freeze time for all frost attacks on this organism. Sure, that'd be helpful. Not sure if I necessarily want to use you yet, but let's explore some more. Okay, this graveyard battle here has a lot of things attached to it, and we haven't taken a lot of damage, so maybe we don't need a healer yet. Let's go ahead and try this, and hopefully the fight is something we can handle. Oh, wait, Ghost of Binky? Okay, that is actually crazy, because, real talk, I've been at this for a while, and this is what my guy looked like in the last run. That's actually really cool. Well, our guy looks a lot better than what we used to be, and we do more damage. Ooh, especially double crits going out there. So I think we can defeat ourselves very easily. Wow. I was not expecting to fight myself, but I'm glad I beat myself. And we got a lot of vials from that too. So let's crack these bad boys open. We get some random ones here. Hey, more cells. Take both of these high health ones and then another frost thing. No frost attacks though, sadly. Unless we take the one that costs neural points, but I don't like that idea. Let's take this one for better freeze chance. And then the last cell thing here for more high health cells, I think. Okay, now we can strap a lot of things to our guy, which should hopefully defend it better. And so to that end, I think we strap more to the front, facing outward like this on both sides. Looks good. And then a bit more going on the back like this, facing directly out so we can protect the lightning bit better. And then the last one can go down here, sure. Okay, so now we have more room for more mutation things, but we need frost before we can even think of putting these on. And we only have a few encounters left before the boss. So we could take a gambler, but let's go up to the surgeon because having three unknown encounters that we can reveal, I think is gonna be better. Hello, surgeon. What pointy bits do you have? Our guy's looking massive right now. Ooh, we can increase max HP. I like the sound of that. But where do we do it, though? We have a lot of stuff here. Maybe to our main attack cell, just so we can have that longer. And then we explore some more. Ooh, a healer. Or more cell things. How many cell things can you get? You know what? It's probably a good idea to heal up before the boss. So we'll go here and then heal everything up, even though the cortex was the only thing that was missing health. Oh, well, it's worth it. And sadly, we can't use the frost things right now, but we hopefully don't need them going into the boss fight here. As we are fighting, oh, it's a Hungriest Corwin. What, like Corwin Auto? Okay, you have a little bit of everything, it looks like, and a lot of defense on the bottom, yikes. So not really sure where to attack, but I think we can focus on the things up here that are dangerous, as we do have a lot of things that do damage. So we send out the antlers as soon as we can, and then dodge the big attacks initially, and we should hopefully be doing a lot of damage. But also, I feel like we're about to lose quite a few bits because they're sending out a lot of attacks as well, but we just gotta be careful when we dodge so we avoid the biggest damage. Be sad about not being able to use the antler ability again, but hey, they're losing more bits. That's very helpful. Oh no, we're losing bits too, but that didn't have anything on it, so I'm not too concerned with it. And yes, they lost an entire attack thing. That is amazing. And the spears are still looking good, dealing out massive damage. Yes, the brain is exposed. Let's go for it. Lots of good damage going out there. Oh, that six damage is going directly on target. Look at that. We defeated the boss. Yes, that is amazing. Fourth wall smasher. Oh, he's here to tell us we beat the demo. But our guy has so much potential. I guess we'll just have to explore that potential in the full game of Evo Plasm. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more from this game when it fully releases, then be sure to let me know. Thank you very much for watching and sub to intern. And I would like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota, Donomoto, DeviantX, Ancient Elixir, Matthew, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, Lily, The Miner Within, The Garrity, Sands, Isaac, V, Killer Squad, Mousy, and Nicholas.